Dude, once it's in your backpack and it's at the very bottom of your backpack, it's gone. Hey everyone, it's me, Sydney. So today I'm going to be filming a 10 tips to maintaining A's and everything like that. I personally had a D and then I got it all the way up to an A by using these tips and personally this worked really well for me. Hopefully it helps you guys out figuring out like getting good grades and everything like that. So without further ado, this is a collaboration video with my friend Brooke here on YouTube. Her name is BeautyBlossom29 and I will have her video down below or subscribe button down below. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on both of our channels because you guys want to spread the love and positivity. So let's just get into this video. Tip number one. So the first tip is to make a to-do list or a checklist or something. I use this app called Wonderlist. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this app, but it works really well for people who want to stay organized and get everything done that they need to do. Like me personally, I forget a lot of things. So this helps me out when I don't when I don't want to like write it on my hand or something or and I always have my phone with me so then I have my to actual to-do list and this is what I write in class and a lot of people don't understand why I make a to-do list rather than use a calendar because calendars for me are just for like events and video ideas and for this all I do is write to do at the top and I write every single thing I need to do and if I know I'm gonna get it done um, before school ends like that day I put a dot by it so I know I should get it done before I get home and then anything else I do when I get home so that's basically my to-do list and that's a really good tip it works for me really well I use it 24 7 literally every single day I've used since the first day of school but tip number two is to stay organized by keeping track of your events and you you, it's really great because if you guys are in a sport like me or you have a job or you guys have a massive like crazy social life then this is great for you guys so once again we're going to go on my handy dandy phone and we're just going to check it out so first of all I have this app called um, Calendmob and this is definitely one of those apps where I recommend it looks like this and I recommend this you spend the money on the actual full upgrade like upgrade because then you don't get ads then you get this my favorite thing about this is called mini month so mini month basically color codes everything for you and it comes in blue it comes in like all these different colors for your different things but right here in the green I have my actual like things I have planned already so I never double book and then in blue I have my video ideas and that's really great for me because I can see what video I have that day, what I have to make sure I do, um, what time it's going to go up, who it's going to be like involving, or if it's just myself, just what the title is. Super awesome for this. It keeps me organized so I don't double book. And it also lets me know how my month is going to be. My week looks like that. And it comes with the day too and the time. So you can really do so many things with this. I recommend that you guys go and check this out because then you will never double book and you will know when you have plans, when you don't and it just keeps me so organized. So tip number three, we are going to make sure that you are clean and organized. So basically, I want you guys to go and look at your backpack right now. If there are random papers sitting crumpled at the bottom or not in a folder, if you're clean and organized, number one, you stay less distracted and you can focus easier. Number two, you can find things. And a lot of people don't understand that when you, once it's in your backpack and it's at the very bottom of your backpack, it's gone. Tip number four, so for me personally, after a long day of having school, practice, and I get home and I'm already tired, what I like to do, and if I have to study, this works really well. So if I'm either winding down for the day, I turn on some Hulu or some Netflix, and I just chillax. Honestly, my favorite thing to do is go on my computer, go on Hulu.com, if anyone knows that you can do that. It's better than Netflix personally, because I can look at my TV shows, and I don't have to like have a subscription to that. Hulu.com on your computer. It works really well and you just play it and that's what I do. I like listen to it while I clean my room or something like that. And it works so well. You take your break, then you go do your homework and your mind is kind of refreshed. And then also what I like to do is an hour before bed, I just turn off everything and just lay in bed with no electronic stimulation and just like do my homework or do like just try to stay away from electronics because it helps me sleep a lot better. So tip number five kind of goes along with that and that's power off. Um, I've seen so many people say that and honestly I never power off but if you are the person who gets distracted really easily, power your stuff off. If you guys don't need to power off, like me personally, I turn on 
some TV when I get home. Not like actual TV, but I turn on my computer and I watch an episode and I just listen to it. I don't actually look at the screen, I just listen to it while I'm doing my homework so I can catch up because then my otherwise my queue gets too long and then the videos expire and then I start crying and I just miss my mistress's episodes, you know? Number six is study. Um, basically, when you guys are studying, find some different ways that work for you. Personally, for me, if I study at night, do repetition and come up with something that helps me remember it, it's a lot easier for me because I have French and I suck at French. But at the same time, if I do really like, I can do better on a quiz than other people and be awful at like my homework because of the fact that I study exactly for what I need and I do repetition and I come up with something to help me memorize it. So shout out to you French tutor, love you so much. And also when you guys are studying, if you guys have a math test, this is a super great app. There's one called Mathway, which I don't know if that's an app. I know that you can go on .com, but there's an app that I really love. And this is one that I found from, I think her name's Ariana Nikki or something. I will have her video down below where I found it from. And it's the calculator app. It looks, I'll have it linked down below, but it's right here. It's like a blue one with a white square root and a three on it. And this works really well for if you guys are in algebra two, this works amazing because it like registers it a little better. Tip number seven. So basically this tip is probably for everyone out there. If you guys are like me at all and you guys have been a procrastinator in your, you know, life, then I recommend just getting it done. Put your due date a week before it's due. So if it is due in a week and two days, put the due date for tomorrow and or the day after tomorrow or like three days after tomorrow. Just put it before it's actually due so that then you get it done and you're not stressing at the last minute. Even though sometimes you do your best work at the last minute, I'm telling you right now, if you're stressing about it a week before, it'll look even better. Tip number eight is if you're always stressed on time, you can do this the night before or on Sunday nights. I personally like Sunday nights because then I know that I'm starting my week off and I just pick out my outfits for the whole week and then in the morning I just grab the hanger for whichever outfit I want. And it works so well because you already have your makeup that's like your everyday makeup. You already have your hair stuff out. You have everything out. So all you do is throw your clothes on, put some deodorant on, put some perfume on, which takes literally less than five minutes. Then you just do your makeup, which will take you like 10. And then you just brush your hair or put it up or straighten it. So just do things the night before or if you can't do them the night before, like putting your clothes on, put them out on Sunday night. That's what I always do. I just, you know, start with clean sleep. Tip number nine is for people who are kind of like if they're involved in either clubs or sports or they just have after school activities, I recommend finding someone who has like the same class or if they're learning the same thing as you and you guys can do your homework together. When you have away games or home games or anything like that where you're going to have time besides practice obviously like when you're sitting down and waiting for your game to start, what you can do is you can get out your homework and this is what I personally do and you sit with someone who has either the same class or the same teacher as you so they have like the same assignment and you do it with them and you can talk about it you can have you can split up the problems like you can do what you want and it works really well to get your stuff done and still not struggle with it because you have someone to ask questions to number 10 so this one is for people who have jobs they stay out late they just you know they don't want to be sick for school right they don't want to have to make up all their work that they miss. So this is great for anyone who wants to be healthy and stuff. Basically, eat breakfast, but don't eat a huge whopping breakfast if it's going to make you sick. For me personally, do not eat anything acidic. Get like a banana or get a bagel. Personally, for me, I eat one of those and then I have something that's in my stomach and I still have energy. And then also try to stay away from caffeine because it'll have you, it's like a crash and burn effect. Basically, you're high one moment and then you crash and burn. You don't get sick as easily also when you're healthy. So that was all for my tips. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and go check out Brooke's video because she's super fabulous and I think she's a great person. So I hope that you guys enjoy. 